Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then of course, welcome to you guys too. My name is Janessa Elizabeth, for those who don't already know. And today I am coming to you with a roundup of 2021. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing the last couple weeks, few weeks, couple weeks actually. It's only two weeks worth of footage that I'm gonna show you guys. I have a lot to show you guys. Instead of creating like a few different vlogs, I feel like because it's the new year now, I'm just gonna combine them just to give you guys a full swing and a wrap up of what I've been up to the last few weeks. So we are in the new year guys. Happy new year to all of you guys. I hope you have a blessed year guys. This is our year. Literally like I'm so focused this year. You guys have no clue. A lot of manifestation going on and all of that jazz. We got this guys. 2022 we got this it is january 2nd and as you can tell i am back home in london um i went to gloucester for two weeks but before that we're gonna rewind all the way back before i went to gloucester as i said before i was here in london for a week prior to me going back home so yeah rewind back to december 20 something december 17th that was actually the day i broke up from work and i went and watched the new spider-man movie that everyone is obsessed with at the moment like I wasn't prepared for how good this movie was going to be like it smashed out of the park but before that I met it with my friend it usually is Omar and Selena but Selena couldn't make it so I met up with Omar and then we went to Leicester Square yeah um picked up some food of course guys you know guys what I like I went to Jamaica Co and they do the best patties there guys but honestly they bang they are the closest to the Jamaica, like the ones that you get in Jamaica that I can find in this country. I highly recommend, um, but I hadn't ate before going, so I just thought, let me just um, grab some food quick and then head into the cinema. Guys, guys, I got the patties, I got the goods. Guys, we're just walking through Leicester Square, which is where the cinema is, we're going to City Walk. Long, long, I'm praying to God in his I'm praying to God We watched it in IMAX and it was the best decision because I feel like it needs to be on the biggest screen ever and it literally was. I don't know if you guys have been to the Leicester Square Cine World but the cinema screen in IMAX like is massive. <laughs> like honestly it's so massive. Guys make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Support as usual. Guys, the film last night, Spider Man. Let's talk about Spider Man for a minute, guys, because. I'm no movie fanatic, like, but I do watch a lot of movies. I watch me. I like to watch movies. I like the whole experience of going to watch movies. And I, ah, uh, Spider Man. Please tell me. Like, usually when I hear the hype about these movies, I'm just like, you know what? I'll give it a go. But, like, I'm gonna be honest about my opinion. I will tell you guys now. Spider Man had me in a chokehold from start to finish like the film was 10 out of 10 i highly recommend you to go and see it like from the moment the movie started all types of emotions bare banter and comedy bare emotions bare action the atmosphere in the theater was it was mad it was mad i was kind of expecting it because my friend lauren had already watched it um on the release day and she was like yeah like people were just clapping applauding like cheering like every even when someone said like a minor quote that they referenced back to previous movies yeah like people were just going mad it was just incredible i put on my story like that movie was incredible i really enjoyed it i would actually go and see it again even though it was two and a half hours it did not feel like it at all and just so you know if you're gonna go watch it there's two end credit scenes there's one 
quite soon after it finishes and then you have to watch all the end credits and there's another one. You're gonna wanna see it, it's like a trailer. Spoiler alert. And then why not have a little bit of TLC? But before that, because I was going to Winter Wonderland, so we're on Sunday now guys, I was going to Winter Wonderland on the Monday. No, I feel like we're on a Saturday night. I went to Winter Wonderland on the Sunday, but they implemented this whole scheme where you have to, um, not scheme, it's not scheme, but like a whole new regulation where you have to um, have a lateral flow test and um, negative before you go there. So I went to get a PCR with that man. We're on our way to the COVID centre, um, driving place. It should be right here to be fair. I was just talking to these, the vlog about um, Spider-Man. Oh, I see that. It's, it's so good. Don't turn up in. Just like the special effects, the scenes. Oh my God, please let me give you one spoiler. Oh God, come in. No, that was too easy. Oh. What the hell? You can go watch it. <laughs> We're here. Do I go from here? So, I've never seen that before. These ones, these ones are better because the ones from work are not as thick as this. This is literally like a cotton wool. I mean, a cotton bud. Okay, I have to like tease my nose first. Just get used to the sensation. That's what I have to see. <laughs> Snap that. Yeah. That's what I'm doing, guys. How do I? Oh, okay. My makeup! I don't need to do that with the kid. Okay, the test is done. The right one. Um, yeah. What do you um, want? Your Thank you. So there's a test receipt card, you keep that. Yep. Everything else you can throw away. Alright, cool. Oh, wait, imagine I missed the bin though. He's <laughs> gonna miss the bin. I'll be joking. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And then, obviously, TLC day. I got my nails done. I was feeling all festive, and that's what this part of the vlog is all about. So today I'm gonna take my braids out and I'm gonna get my nails done. I'm actually, I don't know how I'm gonna sit and rebraid my hair with um, some fresh acrylics on because I actually took a break from getting my nails done. I don't know if you guys realise, but I just stopped um, getting them done for a few months. I think the last time I got them done was either August or September. I feel like it might have been September because I feel like sometimes like our nails just need a break. They need to heal, especially with um, having acrylics on all year round. They need to heal. So to look at me, I've only got one earring in. I started filming before anything. Done, so my acrylics have been put on but the guy that does it um, isn't going to be doing the nail art on it so I'm just waiting for the lady to finish with the person behind me and I'm going to get my nail art done but I love the length of these like they're perfect they're not too long and they're not too short but I don't know how I'm going to rebraid my hair later on boy that's going to be a challenge not later on tomorrow it's going to be a challenge so we'll see <laughs> Also on the Sunday, I also went and done my braids. So this part is about me spending hours doing my braids. I thought I would vlog it, I don't know why, because it completely slowed me down. But guys, watch me do my braids. All I need to do now is freshen up my hair, which is what I'm gonna start on tonight. Okay guys, so it's Sunday, not even morning. It's like, what is the time? It's 4.40 p.m. Anyway, I've just gone and washed my hair. I have 4C type hair, so I'm gonna show you guys the products that I use um, when it comes to me washing my hair. So I'm gonna start off with this Sheer Moisture um, shampoo, and I love this shampoo, guys. So I use this Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Pack Shampoo. And then for the conditioner, I use this OGX product, um, and I have been using OGX since I was in uni. It's been a really long time. Um, and I know recently that it had come out that some of their products were like cancerous. Luckily, this specific one wasn't on the list and I was like really relieved that it was not on the list, honestly, because that would have just 
I don't know, it just would have thrown me off. So I use this one and it's the Brazilian Keratin Smooth. And my hair just always feels really soft and smooth once I've finished using it. So I always just go back to using the same product when it comes to OGX. And another product I use is an oil based product when it comes to like moisturizing and keeping my hair hydrated and I don't necessarily use like stand by the same oil every time I do like to experiment with it depending on reviews um, and this time around I've just got this sunny isle root repair growth oil and last but not least I use another sheer moisture product which I really really do like guys this leave-in conditioner is Honestly, I'd highly recommend. I know that I've picked up all the other items, but I really do like and enjoy using this and my hair just loves it. And then obviously when it comes to styling my hair, I just use, of course, Eco Style and a gummy, which are both like, everybody knows about these two products. I probably use like the bare minimum when it comes to doing my braids. With this, I use this more because it's thicker and it's easier when it comes to shaping my braids and the sectioning of it. You'll see when I start doing the sectioning of my hair. I actually use this to section my hair. I have to go to the back. My partings have to be A1, otherwise I'm gonna spend like a solid hour just doing it. Um, but guys, wish me luck. Okay guys, so I've basically gone ahead and just um, partitioned my hair into like four sections. That's when I tell you shrinkage is one hell of a bitch. gonna go ahead basically and just do the other part usually I'd spend quite a bit of time like I'm really OTT about getting the line straight in my hair honestly like I think that's why it takes me so long to do my braids but this time I've just like I literally just went from one end to the other with the comb and I think I'm just gonna leave it as it is especially considering it's the back row like the braids above are all gonna be on top of it so I'm kind of happy with how that's turned out <music> I have to remember like if I want edges when I gel it down like when I'm styling it I, I usually just leave a bit out like that and because it's at the front of my head I will take my gummy gel and I will take a very small amount guys literally like you can't even see it on my camera is that, is that little um, but yeah I would take a small amount and I would just like um, put it around it like twist it around just so it's a lot more slicker I'm gonna actually grab a little bit more guys to be fair okay guys as you can tell it is a completely different day my hair is done from what you just seen in the last clips my hair has been done for the last Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday four days that's right guys it's literally four days later i'd love to come and tell you that i had a valid reason for not finishing off this video but in all honesty um the my braids were just taking so long i did not finish my braids until 5 a.m that night i cannot remember the last time i was up until that late like 5 a.m that is crazy i've done them a lot smaller so yeah they look really cute and excuse me for the lighting i've actually borrowed my ring light out to one of my friends because i am going home for like a week or so tomorrow tomorrow is christmas eve guys believe it or not um i always leave it until the last minute to go home for christmas oh my god what have i been doing the last few days so monday i went to winter wonderland i didn't vlog you lot already see me at winter wonderland and it's a bit boring to do that again wow i'm actually trying to think i don't think i did anything on tuesday wednesday I also didn't do anything. I just went out in the morning and um, returned some items that I needed to do for like the last two weeks. So I did that before I went back home. And today I went to go see a few of my friends. Like most of you know that I have friends scattered all over the country, literally all over the country. Um, and my friend Lauren, there's like a group of four of us where um, my friend Lauren lives in Liverpool. Jen lives down south and Patsy actually lives in Dubai so we obviously all had to link up and we did and then last but not least me traveling home for Christmas so I went to Gloucester on December 24th yes on Christmas Eve I traveled back to Gloucester but guys this part of the vlog is completely like just randomized but I 
bought I'd keep it in just so you guys can see me with my family you know like it's the best time of year and I really enjoy going back to spend some time with my family especially at Christmas time it's the longest period of time throughout the year where I get to spend time with people like I can spend a week or two in Gloucester rather than throughout the year when I just go for like a few days at a time maximum good morning guys I'm gonna make my way to Victoria now it is about 8 45 so I really have to go it takes me about 30 minutes to get to Victoria coach station um, and then my coach is at 10 a.m. and I get in at 1 20 so it's actually a few hours on the train which is normal on the coach as I probably won't vlog as much on my way there because um, I do have quite a lot like I have a small suitcase and then I have my backpack and then I also have like a small bag to carry but for now let's go I'm just waiting for my train luckily it's the Victoria line so it does take like it's literally every minute Hey guys, I'm on the coach. I actually have to keep this on to be fair, but I'm like the second person on, so there's not anyone else on this coach right now. I think it's gonna be sold out though, but a lot of them have these reserved tickets on it, so obviously I couldn't sit in that seat, but I've got a double seat here. Hopefully it stays like that. Okay guys, I'm in Gloucester now. Um, I actually got here like an hour or so ago to be fair. Look at my hair, that is actually wild and out. But I'm in Aldi because we obviously are last minute like this and like to go food shopping for Christmas on Christmas Eve, even though it's actually really quiet in here. But yeah, I'm with my sister, Shalina. <laughs> and we're shopping. We've basically got like two baskets because we didn't have a spare coin because who carries cash? for a trolley so now we're just like struggling with two baskets she has got her list oh my god and she's got the pen but yeah we're just basically like getting multiples of everything yorkshire puddings what else we got brussels sprouts frozen peas everything cheese cheese like loads of cheese loads of cheese i thought i was bad at cheese with cheese but this one's bad too it's it's christmas i have to no 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 no. christmas or not regardless there's always bad cheese in her fridge no i stopped doing that a long time ago mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> guys i just have to show you guys something because we were looking for frozen peas and i saw this yeah i actually thought they had mcdonald's in the freezer here look please tell me like does this not look like McDonald's to you? Like they called it Big Stack. It literally looks like a Big Mac. And then they've got hash browns. Like what the hell? And then this is what I saw first. And then they have like chicken nuggets. How mad is that? It literally looks like the duplicate to McDonald's, even the packaging. The price is obviously cheaper, but I just found it so mad. Like I was like to my sister, what is that in the fridge? I can't imagine it's gonna taste great, but you know, each to their own. So basically guys, I need to start shopping at Aldi. I wish I had an Aldi close to me in London because the way all of this just came out so cheap. If I was to go to Tesco's, it would have cost me so much more. I've only got so much, man. I hope. Morrison's is as quiet as Aldi. We got quite lucky with that. <laughs> we came for salmon. They got no salmon. So Shalina can't eat tomorrow for Christmas. <laughs> she don't eat meat. Passion fruit? Get like dead ass, that's it. Yeah. Off the shelf. But yeah guys, this is our basket right now. We came for biscuits <laughs> and salmon. This is all the food we've still got left. We've got mac and cheese. We've got some roast potatoes, 
um, stuffing balls, Yorkshire puddings. We got some goat in here, oh my god. And then some salmon. This is basically some flavours of what we had for Christmas dinner yesterday. That means I'm going to be eating for like the next two days. Eating some real good food for the next two days. So it's a bonus. Win-win. So yeah, that's it. And now I'm back. That is what I've been up to the last couple weeks. I actually did get my lashes done. My sister's a lash tech. I've mentioned before. I got my lashes done when I'm there. We're going back to the weekly vlogs from now on. Every week banging out a vlog. Don't worry about that. So make sure you come back next week for my next vlog. I've got a lot going on. It's my birthday in two weeks i have off the thursday friday obviously saturday and sunday so i have four days off so we're getting lit guys we're getting lit i've got a lot planned i think i've got a lot planned in my head i've mentally got a lot planned it just needs to come together my sister is sorting out the whole meal yeah i'm really excited about that my immediate family are coming like i get so nervous when literally the thought of having something for my birthday makes me so nervous i was saying to my friends like i always say to my friends i get so nervous i'd rather just like jump on a flight and get out of here so i'm having a dinner party i decided on but i wanted to keep it so small guys so i invited my immediate family obviously like and my immediate family is quite big like there's 10 of us in total and then after that um, I just um, added my friends, like 10 of my friends, because I didn't want to make it big. My sister asked me if I wanted a party and I, that is not me. So I was just like, no, I'll stick to a dinner party at the very maximum. And it's not the point that I don't want people there. It just makes me super anxious and I don't like attention on me, which just sounds mad because I'm sat in front of a camera and I do social media. Guys, this is what anxiety does to you. I've got a lot going on. I'm really excited. But yeah, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys had a lovely Christmas. I hope you guys have an even better New Year's. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.